Hey guys, this is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I make videos every week all about the flute and music and sharing tips and tricks and stuff like that. And I also have a blog where I share a little bit more about some of the topics that I cover in my videos. And if you like what you see and you want to learn and work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer private online flute lessons and recorded lessons in the form of performance checks. So if you're interested in any of that, the links will be down in the description. Uh, but today I am talking about how to prepare flute music for auditions. So I know a lot of us, me included, anyone in school probably has auditions coming up in August for ensemble placement. Now this year is a little different with the whole virus that's been going around, but um, at least at my university where I'm getting my master's, we are still having auditions as anticipation of potentially having large ensembles or at the very least for a placement into chamber groups. So um, if you are in school or if you will be in music school this fall, it's definitely a good idea to prepare for the potential for an audition. Um, so when I get into the sort of like main part of the video, why uh, do you play solo flute music in an audition? The solo flute music. So last week I talked about orchestral excerpts and playing those in auditions. And I talked about how those are a good way to um, compare sort of apples to apples with multiple players of the same instrument. Um, but a lot of auditions will also include a solo in a more professional ensemble audition like an orchestra that will typically be chosen for you even a solo type of piece uh, for flute players it's usually one of the Mozart concertos piccolo players it's usually the Vivaldi concerto in C major um, so but for an academic ensemble or a community ensemble if you have a chance to play a solo it, there's a good chance that it might be one you choose could be chosen for you but um yeah, so one reason why you would be able to choose is so you can show off your own playing skills. So, for instance, if you're a more technical player, I know I am more technical, I could choose something a bit like that to show off my technical side. If you're more of a lyrical, um, dramatic sort of player, you can choose a piece that showcases that, um, and you can choose a piece that's around your level so that you'll know you'll do a good job and you'll be able to show the best that you can do. Mm. Uh, all right, so how to prepare such music for auditions. Again, if you're able to choose, choose wisely. So choose something that shows off your strengths, choose something that you know you can prepare between now and the audition. You know, maybe you want to play the Iber Concerto, but maybe you need more then a couple months to work it up to performance and audition standards. So maybe you choose something a little easier uh, and you save the Iber for a later audition or competition. Um, so yeah, if you get to choose, review the guidelines for choosing. Um, if there are any restrictions, if you can play any solo piece or if you have to play specifically a concerto or a sonata or if you have to play a specific genre like era of music versus like Baroque versus classical. Uh, and so kind of same following tips from last week's video, listen to the piece uh, in full even if you only will be able to play a page or two out of it. So that's another thing to consider if you're not able to play the entire piece that you choose. Uh, look at the different movements, if there are multiple movements, and select the one that you feel like you can do the best. Um, yeah, listen to that move part especially, listen to the whole thing, listen to how it fits. Um, and even though you may not be playing it with piano, still know the piano parts so that you can count through any rests uh, appropriately. Uh, study the score if you can, so hopefully you would have a copy of the score 
if you're playing something in the public domain, you can use IMSLP for that, or you can buy the piano part. Usually, even if it's a concerto, there's usually a piano reduction. Um, so that won't necessarily tell you what each instrument is doing, but it'll tell you what harmonies there are and all of that. Um, then, of course, practice well. So practice on the parts that are the trickiest for you. Um, practice, you know, slowly, practice different rhythms, uh, do whatever you would do when practicing any solo for preparing it for a audition or performance. Um, then get feedback. So again, I offer online lessons and performance checks where you can send me a recording and I will respond with feedback and a plan. So if you send me an email and let me know that you're preparing for an audition. I can listen and watch your recording and give you feedback that will hopefully help you prepare for that upcoming audition. Um, but if you don't want a teacher's feedback, you can also get feedback from your friends. That is hard, especially if you're in the same studio as someone because you obviously both want to do really well and you hopefully would want the other person to do well, but if you're both competing for first chair, it can be hard to listen to another friend if they're doing really well. So maybe get uh, feedback from someone who plays a different instrument or someone you know who maybe goes to a different school um, just for that feedback. You can also record yourself and listen to yourself and see what you're doing. If you do a video, see what your hands are doing and what you sound like and all that. And then you can decide, okay, well, I like this, but I didn't like that. So I'm going to change this. Um, and then in the audition, be unique. So again, if you do get to choose what piece you do, choose, try to choose one that hopefully no one else will be playing. Obviously you can't control that in an audition. Um, but it is your time to shine and to show off. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the time playing the solo because it will be a good way to stand out, especially if there are a lot of players of your instrument. Um, so, yeah, that is about it. If you guys want to know any of my recommendations for good ensemble audition slash flute audition pieces let me know in the comments and I can share those in a video or a blog post or on social media and um yeah but again if you want to work with me either for a recording or for ongoing lessons links to that are in the description as well as other blog posts and videos that I mentioned here so if you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment below and I will see you guys next time.